Howdy folks, it's been quite a while since I posted a new video on here, so I figured I would do a quick update and new video. And we're going to revisit the Yamato here for a few moments, because there are some things that have come to light since I last showed this model in a video over a year ago, maybe even a year and a half ago about the real ship and the model and one thing you will notice here is that I have since put the model back on its original display base that came with it from Tamaya which I think looks much more impressive than the trumpeter base that I had it mounted on and in my earlier original video I mentioned that this model the way I built it portrayed the Yamato in April of 1945, just before her final voyage, her suicide mission. And I have to go back on that now and say that that is not entirely correct, or not correct at all. Some new information over the past six months or so has come to light in the research of the real ship, which pretty much proves that the Japanese either painted or stained the ship's wooden deck either black or very dark gray in the days or weeks leading up to the ship's final suicide sortie on the 7th of April of 1945. So that also the Yamato didn't carry any of the, her boats with her at her final sortie and I have a couple in position on here. And her aircraft were launched and flown off the ship back to shore shortly after she cleared out of the of harbor and through the uh, partway partway into into her voyage after she cleared a certain the perimeter. Her, her aircraft were launched and returned to land, so they were not on board for the entire journey. So my assessment now is that my model here represents the Yamato in early 1945, not in April, maybe a couple of months earlier than that. I have no intention of redoing the deck because I'm afraid it would probably wreck too much detail and plus I sealed it with a good clear coat, a matte finish, so if I tried to stain it the stain would not soak in. So that pretty much is ruled out. So we're going to just live with it the way it is. It would have been nice to have the model representing the ship on her final sortie, but the new information has basically, like I said, dispro disproven what Tamaya intended the model to be as. I'm sure they will probably update their instructions to cover and include the new information that researchers have uncovered. And over here, something else that I've been working on building, we have the 1 to 350 Roma, the Italian battleship with that really nifty aerial recognition painting work up on the forecastle and camo on the hull. And interestingly, green anti-fouling bottom paint. And I don't know of any other Navy that used that color. So this is a work in progress, about 85% finished. She needs crew aboard. Uh, and Behind her, we have the 1 to 350 Hood and the 1 to 350 Bismarck. And both of those models are complete, except that I don't have any crew aboard yet. Once we get some crew figures installed, I will do a proper video and photographic journal of those vessels. And we have another 1-350th motion picture, Star, Star Trek the motion picture Enterprise refit 
in the works here. White primer on, ready for the finished white and all of the intricate pearlescent paints that are going to be on the, the full five color, inclu which includes the white and the four irid shimmering iridescent colors. And this model, as you can tell by that snake coil of wire coming out the bottom, is going to have all of the electronic effects from Tenet Controls. It's going to have the, the sequence deflect fading power-up deflector dish from orange to blue, the impulse engines, the power up, the warp engines powering up as the impulse engines power down. <clears throat> And it's going to have the firing phasers and photon torpedoes with the sound effects. And this is a long-term project. I'm in no hurry, hurry with it. And it's going to also going to have a custom base built for it, which I hope will be pretty spectacular. Well, not over the top, but elaborate for the model for Star Trek: The Motion Picture, which is what I'm building it as. I'm not going to choose. This will not represent the ship from any of the future movies. This is going to be specific to Star Trek, the motion picture. And my other big project that I've been working on is this big mama here, the 1 to 350th Nimitz from Trumpeter. And this model is built up to the, as far as I can go with it until all of the aftermarket decals for the flight deck and the over 100 aircraft that I had to order for it arrived. So we can properly build Carrier Air Wing 8, which was assigned to this ship in night during 1980, or from 77 until the until into the 1980s. But my model will represent the Nimitz as close as I can to how she appeared in December of 1980. And for you movie buffs, you can probably guess that my, one of my favorite films is The Final Countdown with Kirk Douglas, Martin Sheen, Catherine Ross, Charles Darning, and James Fiorentino, where the Nimitz is, passes through a bizarre electrical storm and is sent back in time to the day of Pearl Harbor where they have to decide whether or not they're going to change the course of history or let it unfold as the history books state that it did and it's one one of my favorite movies and it's really really good I highly recommend it for anyone that hasn't seen it yet but the Nimitz was used in the movie the entire pretty much the whole movie was filmed on board the Nimitz so this model is going to be as close, like I said, as close as I can build it. Is going to be the Nimitz from the as she appeared in the final countdown. And moving up the shelves here, we have. Forgive the bright lighting here; it washes out the windows. But we have our. Motion or a classic Star Trek second pilot Enterprise where no man has gone before here, it's still lit up nicely. And we have the Wonder 350s remastered Enterprise series production version over here, all still lit up going nicely. And in my earlier video of this ship, I had the warp engine grills lit up blue, and I explained in my reasoning for doing that. But a couple of months or so ago, I decided to change it back and, and disable the blue glow and go back to the screen cannon appearance. And in my opinion, I don't think it really matters either way. You can have any just my earlier video, I explained the justification for doing it and, ex and that if you, and if anybody does do it, there really nobody can say that you're wrong because it was the original intent but i decided to go back to the screen cannon look we have some one to one thousand starships from star trek on here lined up and once i get some better bases for some of these i'll do some videos of each one of these ships and after i also clean the dust off of them that'll be down the road 
And then when I get some of these other projects completed, I'm debating what I want to build next. I have the Lusitania and the Titanic both in 1 to 350. The Titanic was started, but I haven't done much on it in a long time. I'm really itching to build the 1 to 350 from the Gato from Hasagawa, which is a beautiful model. Or I may decide to build the 1350 HMS Dreadnought with the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Jutland coming up next year. We also have the Queen Elizabeth, the Prince Oigan, the North Carolina, the South Dakota. Actually, this is the Massachusetts. Then we have the Missouri from Tamiya. And I have the Flyhawk super detailing set for the Missouri. This is going to be a very long, in-depth build with a lot of added detail to it. We also have the Indianapolis and Tamiya's Big Enterprise. And we have the big three in sailing ships over here that are presently on the market. The Victory, the Constitution, and the Cuddy Sark. And I think the 196 Cuddy Sark kit from Ravel may be out of production. I'm not sure. But you can still get the Constitution and the 1 to 100 Victory from Heller. And they also make a 1 to 100 Soli Royale kit that I eventually plan on picking up. And there, those, I believe, are the four largest injection molded sailing ship models that, that are available for purchase on the market. So, and plus, I have a closet full of other stuff to build. Star Trek and some, and some other oddball things. So we're going to be busy for a while. But I just wanted to get something up on here so you can see that I haven't disappeared because I know it's been probably eight or nine months since I've put up a video about anything. So I hope you enjoyed this little update here. And I will see you soon once some more projects get completed or if I come up with something interesting that doesn't involve models that I would like to show you. Everybody have a wonderful evening wherever in the world that you are and take care.